Hi, folks. My name is Greg Turner, the radiology coach. My job is to demystify the enigmatic world of x-ray. When entering a radiology department, some patients can be fearful of the radiation exposures associated with the exams. But there are examinations that are part of the radiology department that do not involve the administering of x-rays or radiation. Some of these exams include ultrasound, lithotripsy, and MRI. Magnetic resonance imaging utilizes a magnetic field to capture imaging of the body. The highly sophisticated machinery passes a magnetic field through the patient, which in turn causes the atomic protons within the body to react in a resonating fashion. When these protons align in this resonating fashion with the magnetic frequency, the MRI detects the energy expelled from the protons. It is then able to construct an image with these signals. This occurs repeatedly every second of the exam, and as a result, soft tissue in the body is easily recognized by the operator. The magnetic field, even though it is causing trillions of photons to repeatedly react over and over, is regarded as safe. There is no radiation associated, and some would argue that the MRI is actually good for you. Many who are watching this video are familiar with magnetic therapy using bracelets and necklaces. They allegedly encourage circulation, neurostimulation, and even homeostasis. The more dangerous component of MRI is the fact that the unit is indeed a large magnet. Thus, there have been repeated accidents in the past with metal objects flying through the air once a staff or patients enter the room. This includes IV poles, fire extinguishers, watches, pins, and other devices. The magnet is so strong that it will turn any type of metal object into a lethal projectile. Fortunately, processes have been put into place and both staff and patients today must go through three levels of security checks before entering the examination room. These security checks are simply an accountability format to make sure that these sentinel events do not repeat themselves. Additionally, contrast agents are often injected into the patient for certain procedures. The dye made of gadolinium is typically very safe and will not cause harm or illness. The only caution for this contrast would be to patients who suffer from renal failure. This can be problematic and the doctor should consult with the patient before the procedure is initiated. MRIs are an amazing modality in the diagnostic process. Its use is continually proving itself to be one of the most effective diagnostic tools in medicine today. Rest assured that this procedure is also one of the safest in the radiology departments across the country. That concludes this segment on is it dangerous to get an MRI? If you like this presentation, please select the subscribe button below this video. You can also tap the bell next to it so that we'll notify you when other great videos have posted. My name is Greg Turner, and I'm the Radiology Coach. And remember, mark my word and mark your films.